ANC, the SHCP and Kusatu will today march to the Khosi Mampuru Correctional Centre where Chris Hani's killer Yanis Valush is being held. The Tripartite Alliance is holding what it calls a National Day of Action to protest against the Constitutional Court's decision to grant Valush parole. The Polish national murdered Hani back in 1993. In fact, just yesterday, he was stabbed at that facility. Newsroom Africa's Govan Whittles is in Pretoria ahead of today's march. He joins us live. So, um, Govan, can we start with what this National Day of Action will entail? Well, Michelle, essentially it entails a day of protest by the South African or the ANC and its tripartite alliance partners. Um, they'll be marching to Jose Mampuru Prison uh, Correctional Center. That's where Yanis Walus is being held. Um, and they're going there to protest the Constitutional Court uh, decision to grant Yanis Walus parole. Uh, they've gathered here at Burgess Park. It's just about a kilometer away from uh, where the protest uh, or where uh, the prison is. And they'll be going there a little bit later to uh, not only register their dissatisfaction with the Constitutional Court decision uh, to grant him parole, but also the vandalization of the Chris Hani Memorial in Ikuruleni a short while ago. Just take a look at some of the banners that uh, are here at the Burgess Park in Pretoria. Just a handful of people at the moment. We're expecting a lot more of them. Um, they'll probably get underway uh, a little bit later on. Of course, we'll join them when that happens. This protest being led by the ANC in Gauteng um, and also being joined by the South African Communist Party um, in Gauteng as well as Kosatu. Um, and we are expecting a number of prominent leaders uh, to be here to speak about that decision and also reflect on exactly what's happened over the last 24 hours, the recent news uh, that Yanush Walush was stabbed inside uh, the correctional center. Um, some reports emerging that he was stabbed by another inmate. Um, news 24 reporting that that person uh, claims to be a member of the or a supporter of the ANC um, that is inside the correctional facility. Correctional services saying that that person has been put in isolation, that Yanush Walush uh, is currently being treated um, inside the correctional uh, services department's um, prison hospital, essentially, um, that he is in a stable condition uh, following that stabbing. Um, this is, of course, one of the um, more prominent cases uh, that are happening at the moment. And uh, let's listen in to what the Gauteng Premier has to say. We, we will speak to him in a moment. Today he's speaking to us in his capacity as uh, the chairperson of the ANC. Of course, we do have a number of questions to pose to him. So let's just listen in to what he's saying at the moment. So we support those families. Uh, the problem that reconciliation must not be imposed. Uh, it must be genuine, it must be voluntarily, and it must be a, a, a process of building a better country uh, and strengthening our democracy. But you know from now on, uh, it's only one section of our society has been willing to exercise reconciliation. The other section of society feels that uh, 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 we must just accept what they say and move on. Um, and I don't think that is the way that we need to deal with this issue. But where we are, we're here just to protest and register our views and we hopefully believe that uh, Janus Walus, when he leaves this prison, he will be aware that he has inflicted uh, a pain that uh, will not easily heal. Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Lesufi, you're live in Newsroom Africa. I'd just like to know what you think of the stabbing of Janus Walus. Well, I don't even want to comment about it. Uh, something that happened in prison. Um, uh, uh, we'll just note it. All right. You know that Janusz Wolisz is hailed as a, he has a, he has a big following back in Poland. Uh, there are even reports of uh, soccer fans raising his his uh, face on posters uh, during soccer games. They reported that he'll get a hero's welcome if he has to go back to Poland. His lawyer um, saying that. Uh, they, do, they indeed do want him to be deported back to Poland. Of course, the Department of Home Affairs wanting him to serve his parole in South Africa. What's your view on it? Where they take him is their own choice. Um, our people of Poland respond also their own democratic rights. Uh, we also have a democratic right uh, to protest and register our disappointment. And that's what we're doing. Uh, we also have the right uh, to protest so that by the time he comes out of this prison, he doesn't get the hero's welcome. He knows. Uh, that has inflicted pain that can heal uh, in the hearts of South Africans. So we are just here to protest. We are just here to register our disappointment. We are just here to ensure that when he leaves those uh, uh, prison cells, this last walk of shame, because nothing else but a walk of shame, that will never kill Christian again. 
uh, succeeded in killing Chris Zane in 1993, we will never succeed to kill Chris Zane again. We are here to defend the leaders of Chris Zane. Well, just briefly, what do you think about the vandalism of the Chris Zane Memorial in Kurulin? It was a continuation of killing of Chris Zane. He was killed in 1993. The judgment killed him again. And on the two days ago, when they vandalized uh, at the memorial site, it's a continuation of killing of Chris Zane. And that is why today the theme is a don't kill Chris Zane again. Uh, because you can vandalize the graveside of Chris Zane. Uh, who's next? Is it Oliver Tambo? Is it Mandela? So we must stand and, and stop it and register our dissatisfaction. And that's the reason uh, why we are here. Uh, so that we can register our dissatisfaction and put an end to this thing of vandalizing uh, 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 things that uh, belong to democratic leaders. Uh, we have statues here of post apartheid leaders. Nothing has happened to them because we are human. Uh, what is the purpose of destroying them? Uh, nothing. But they continue to destroy uh, symbols that represent post apartheid freedom. We take note of that, uh, but we'll proceed. Don't impose reconciliation on us. Uh, reconciliation is a process, and that particular process must be thoroughly followed, and there must be part where people must come clean and declare their interests. Thank you so much. That's Panyaza Lesufi, chairperson of the ANC in Gauteng. Speaking to us ahead of this march, we'll leave you with live visuals of some of the uh, protesters that have gathered here uh, from the uh, SACP, ANC, and Kosati, as well as some sections of Sanko. They're protesting um, the release of Yanish Walish on parole, and uh, they're claiming that they're killing Chris Hani again through the vandalizing, vandalizing of the memorial site um, and that constitutional court decision. It's back to you. Frank Govan Whittles live to us there in Pretoria. Of course, he'll covering that, he's covering that story for us throughout the day.